this video we will look at some problems from section 2.4, some simple applications of linear equation solving. In problem number 12, we're told that the number of viewers of watching MASH on the final episode plus the number of viewers watching Dallas on the final episode added up to 91 million, uh, with 9 million more people watching MASH. The first step is I will identify two variables that we're going to try to solve for. We're trying to solve for D, the number of people watching Dallas on the final episode, and we're trying to identify the number of people watching MASH on the final episode. In this problem, we were given two different relationships between D and M. We were told that the total number of people watching both episodes added up to 91 million. So the number of people watching Dallas plus the number of people watching MASH adds up to 91 million. The second relationship says that 9 million more people were watching MASH. So if you take the number of people watching Dallas and you add 9 million to that, you will get the number of people watching MASH. Now I have two equations relating D and M. I notice the second equation is solved for M. M is D plus 9 million. Wherever I see an M, I could replace it with D plus 9 million because that's what M is. So in the first equation, I will replace the M with D plus 9 million because that's what M equals. So I have D plus M equals 9 million to start with, but instead of writing an M, I will replace the M with D plus 9 million. So I have D plus, and instead of M, I replace it with D plus 9 million. D plus M equals 91 million. Now I have an equation with only one letter in it, so I can solve for that letter. I have D plus D plus 9 million, so that's 2D plus 9 million equals 91 million. I subtract 9 million on both sides, so I have 2D equals 82 million. I divide both sides by 2 and I get D equals 41 million. 41 million people were watching Dallas. I, we know that D plus 9 million is M, so we replace D with what we know it is. It's 41 million, so 41 million plus 9 million is M. So M is 50 million. So 41 million were watching Dallas, and 50 million were watching MASH. And I check that solution to make sure it makes sense with the original problem. <coughs> 41 million watching Dallas and 50 million watching MASH adds up to a total of 91 million, so that's good. And I see that if 41 million were watching Dallas and 50 million were watching da MASH, that would mean 9 million more people were watching MASH, so that's correct. Number 14 tells us again two different relationships related to two different variables. Here they're saying D is the number of Democrats and R is the number of Republicans who are in the House of Representatives during this certain uh, period of Congress. It says that if you add up the total number of Democrats to the total number of Republicans, you'll get 434 total. They also tell us there are 30 more Republicans than Democrats. So if you start with the number of Democrats and you add 30 to that, you'll get the number of Republicans. Again, my second equation is solved for R already. So wherever I see an R, I can replace it with D plus 30. So in that first equation, wherever I see an R, I will replace it with D plus 30. So I know that D plus R is 434. I'm going to replace R with D plus 30. So I have D plus 30 
plus, instead of r, I have d plus 30. And that equals 434. And now I solve this equation for d. I have two d's plus 30 equals 434. Subtract 30 on both sides. So I have two d's equals 404. Dividing by 2, I get d equals 202. There were 202 Democrats. And we know that d plus 30 is equal to r. So now I know that d is 202. So I know that the number of Republicans was 232. There were now problem number 22. Uh, we are relating here w, the number of calories burned on weights during a, and we're also talking about the number of calories burned using aerobics. In this problem, they tell us that uh, they're working out for 30 minutes on weights, 30 minutes on aerobics. They burn a total of 374 calories. So the calories burned using weights plus the calories burned on aerobics adds up to a total of 374 calories. And they're also telling us that you burn 12 fifths as many calories during aerobics as you do during weights. Just as a note, 12 fifths is the same as 2.4. So another way to phrase that is saying you burn 2.4 times as many calories doing aerobics as you do during weight training. Notice that that's saying that you burn more during aerobics. So if you take the amount of calories you burn during weight training and you multiply it times 2.4, you get the amount you burn during aerobic training. I then take this amount, I plug it in for A, so I have W plus 2.4 W equals 374, and now I solve the equation for W. So 3.4 W is 374 divide both sides by 3.4 and we get W equals 110. And then finally we know that A is 2.4 W so we replace W with 110 and get A equals 264. And finally in number 24 5 cent coins are made using nickel and copper. So if N is the pounds of nickel and C is the pounds of copper, they tell us every pound of nickel used, you'll use 3 pounds of copper. So if I use 1 pound of nickel, it should come out to 3 pounds of copper. They tell us that every pound of nickel used will be three pounds of copper used. So that's telling us that if you take the amount of nickel and multiply it by three, you'll get the same amount, equivalent amount of copper. So notice here, if you plug one in for nickel, one pound of nickel, you would get three pounds of copper. If you plugged in two pounds of nickel, you'd get six pounds of copper. They also tell us that the total amount added together will come to 560 pounds. So again, we take our trick of plugging in what we know. C is 3N. So C I replace with 3N. And then I solve. So I have 4N equals 560. Dividing by 4 on both sides. n is 140, and since we know c is equal to 3n, we know that c is 3 times 140, which is 420. So 140 pounds of nickel and three, 420 pounds of copper.